In this clip, you will learn how to use the explode node to attach each face of the geometry to the mesh points. In our case, we will use the cubes and attach our original text faces to these cubes. Okay, so I got a bunch of cubes appearing and building the text here. This is cool, but let's get rid of these cubes and have the real geometry instead. If you want to follow along, you can open the m 2 underscore 03mb Maya file in the scenes directory. So to do the effects, I will need to create a new mesh node. I believe you start to be familiar with the routine. Select your mesh network, go under the mesh tab. Now we'll go under the add utility tab and I will select the explode node and then click on add explode node. Don't be afraid, nothing will explode yet. For this node to work properly, you need to specify which geo you want to explode. So as we did in the first clip about the distribute node, I will need to do another middle click drag and drop thing. Remember, don't click with the left mouse button on anything, otherwise you will close the mesh one properties. Okay, that said, let's do a middle click on the text and drag and drop it here. Kaboom. If I scroll my timeline, I can see, actually no, I can see nothing because everything is in the middle of the cubes. So let's go inside the outliner and hide the mesh one repro mesh. We don't need it anymore. Select it and do a control H. And there you go. You can see your original text being constructed, driven by the mesh points. Each face inherit from the properties of the cubes. In our case, the position, and the rotation and the scale. When the effect is set to zero, then the faces are simply back on their original position. So the cool thing here is that everything is procedural and can be changed at any time. If you don't like the randomness, even at this stage, I can come back inside my random node and change anything I want here. Okay, we are done for the text effect here. Now we need to take care of the floral shapes. In the next clip, I will create a new mesh network for them. We will repeat some steps we already did. It's always good to do it twice to learn properly. But we will see as well the mesh editor window. So see you there.